At present, most of the data that is being collected on, on humans is still from the skin outwards. We, we haven't seen nothing yet. We are still just at the tip of, of, of this revolution because at present, whether it's Google and Facebook and Amazon or whether it's the government or whatever, they are, uh, are trying to understand people mainly on the basis of what I, what I search, what I buy, where I go, who I meet. It's all external. The really big revolution, which is coming very quickly, will be when the AI revolution and machine learning and all that, the infotech revolution, meets and merges with the biotech revolution and goes under the skin. It's the microchip actually in his hand. The tiny implant is the latest advance in a biohacking technology that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. When biometric sensors or even external devices, now you, you, we are developing the ability, for example, to know the blood pressure of individuals just by looking at them. You don't need to put a sensor on a person. Just by looking at the face, you can tell what is the blood pressure of that individual. And by analyzing tiny movements in the eyes, in the mouth, you can tell all kinds of things from the current mood of the person. Are you angry? Are you bored? To things like sexual orientation. Biometric systems can recognize a person's specific physical attributes, their fingerprints, facial features, iris, or retina. The technology is already used around the world. So um, we are talking about a world in which humans are no longer a black box. Nobody really understands what happens inside, so we say, okay, free will. No, the box is open, and it's open to others, certain others, more than it is open to you. You don't understand what's happening in your brain, but some corporation or government or organization could understand that.